What's up guys, Cold Fusion here, and welcome back to Devil May Cry 3. Last time we entered the Temen Negru, the uh, sort of like the demon tower. Uh, we fought a giant flying centipede thing, which is called Gigapede, I believe. And uh, I almost beat him on first try, but then I kind of got bullshit, but whatever, we won't speak of that. Uh, we met a strange jester called Jester, and uh, we had a little tussle with him, which was pretty funny. And he's an interesting and colourful character, to say the least. No pun intended, of course. Uh, and then we uh, moved on and faced the gatekeepers, Agony and Rudra. We faced them in a pretty cool Onstein and Smur esque fight. And, uh, yeah, we got their weapons from them. And now we're moving on to mission six Family Ties. Clear the trial and forge a new path. Okay. So, what did we get for that? We got some orbs, nice. I think I'm gonna save them, to be honest. But now we have Agni and Rudra. So I want to select these, and I've got to do it. Equip, here we go. Devil Arms, I'm going to select Cerberus out, and select Agni and Rudra. I wasn't done in that screen, I don't know why I went out. Action. Okay, so Agni and Rudra have their own sc screen. These are pretty cool weapons, I didn't use them as much as I probably should have. Jetstream, we already have level 1 variant of this. Slash through multiple enemies with increased speed in this powered up version of Jetstream. Uh, that's basically forward Y. Whirlwind, by spinning at supersonic speeds, your two swords slash through enemies with the power of fire and wind. And that's back, okay. And air hike, yeah, air hike is tied to the weapon you use. So if I bought Air Hike for Rebellion, and then I switched to Agni and Rudra, I wouldn't be able to do a double jump. And vice versa, of course. I think I'm okay for now. I'm probably gonna save up. And I've already... I didn't die in the first two games, and I've already died in this game like three or four times or something like that. It's... it's already harder. Right, let's use them. Let's get to a good spot to do this moveset. It's pretty cool, it's just fast attacks. I think if I... No. Okay. Pressing... Uh, using Swordmaster will do this. And in mid it's great in mid-air because of the... it pretty much has aerial rave. But on the ground it's kinda eh. Honestly, but it's, they're cool weapons, we'll probably use them a bit. What does this say? The goddess's statue piercing... goddess statue... the goddess statues... piercing stare... okay, I got it. Is focused on the front door. Right. Well, it's blocked off, so we have to go this way. Passing one trial still shows lacking. Passing two trials expands horizons. Passing all trials unlocks one's true potential. So let's read about all of these trials then, that we have to do. Your wisdom will be put to the test in the chamber ahead. Use your lifetime experience. From the crawling infant, to the man standing tall, and finally to the old man leaning on his cane. Okay. Your techniques will be put to the test in the chamber ahead. Overcome the onslaught of obstacles to guarantee your future. And here, your warrior's heart will be put to the test in the chamber ahead. Light all of the crests to suppress the evil spirit's rage. Let's do the wisdom test. Now, it tells you what the clue is on it, which is about use your lifetime experience. 
and it talks about the infant, the man, and the old man. Well, the, you know, the, uh, the young man and the old man as well. So, I don't know if you've heard of the thing about the legs, but, uh, a baby crawls on all fours, the man standing tall uses two legs, and uh, the old man uses his two legs and a cane. So it should be four, two, three. So we go through the four door, and we should find two door, it's here. I think three is straight ahead. There we go. And that's it. Pretty straightforward, as, as long as you know the quote-unquote riddle. Essence of intelligence. Impalpable knowledge of the ancient... Ancients ones. Is that supposed to say ancient ones? Without the S. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. Okay, and then just leave through any door, basically. And that'll send us back. Okay, let's do the second trial. What was this? The technique? The trial of the trial of skill. This one's pretty nifty. Alright, let's go. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Essence of technique. Masterful techniques of the Ancient Ones. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. We should be able to just go back. I'm just gonna skip these enemies if you don't mind. I'm, I'm gonna just say no and leave. No, don't. What comes in? No, 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 no. No, do not lock on. Right, and I forget which one's this. Uh, Trial of the Warrior, I'm guessing. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, oh, I literally got the name correct. Well, I don't remember the name, so you know. Right, this one is kind of annoying. And to be honest, I don't really remember how I got past it, but I just remember it being a fucking pain in the arse. So I have to light these, keep these two lit, while having to defeat enemies. And while they are lit, it will remove the uh, buff off of them. Because they are buffed and they have a shit ton of health. Right, now we can fight them. So I want to try and get as much done as possible. Come on. Right. So now, let's do that again. I definitely want to do it before the, uh, before the fucking Speedy Gonzalez boys show up. Blow up. Yeah, these ones. Come on. Oh no, it went off again. I know now, I... I now know why this sucks. And it's because these fuckers teleport. Oh. 
What the fuck? You see him jump? I think this is what I did. I think I just shot these guys to death. Because it's too hard to fucking hit the uh, switches while these guys are running around because they're really fast and really aggressive and they teleport to you. It's honestly not worth doing it, so I might just try spamming them to death. It might take a while though, but it's safer. This is where the turbo will come in handy. Kill the fucker. Well, <laughs> look at him. Spam the fucker to death. Come on, he has to die at some point. There we go. See what I mean? It's pretty annoying when he like teleports you and shit. But it's pretty straightforward, just kill all the enemies. You know. I mean the best thing you can do is sort of balance it out time wise, like I don't know, there's, there's like a method to do it, I suppose, but it's weird. Essence of Fighting, the fighting spirits of the Ancient Ones. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. Okay, so to be fair, I think you only need two of them. Uh, to open the path, and getting, free, uh, getting the third one is optional. But getting the third one will actually net you a little reward, so it's pretty cool. Did I think I said I was saving my uh, orbs. So let's go and get this reward. At least I think uh, you only need to do two. I could be wrong. Use the essence of fighting? Okay. Nothing happened. But if I put the second one in, the essence of technique, Yeah, see, you only need to get two, because it opened the way. But if I put the third one in, the essence of intelligence, I am rewarded for doing all three. Artemis, a gun of the demon world that discharges arrows concentrated with demon energy. Right, so if you remember DMC1, uh, that is basically the same as Nightmare Beta. Basically. Uh, I don't have it equipped, of course, because I have to actually go and equip it. Come on, open the door. The dark corridor. Well, that's very inviting. Well, let's just uh, attack this. Only a technique of gales and flames can move me. Oh, I wonder what that is. There you go. How many do I have? Two. Okay. Ah, this part. <laughs> Try and jump onto the mid platforms. It's pretty awkward. Try doing it though. If I can get the right angle. I don't know if there's a anything else up there though. Why did you drop off? I didn't do that. There you go. Just needed to get the red orbs. 
Cutscene. Well, well. You've grown stronger. Go to hell. You point a gun at me, your own kin. Your dear papa. <gasps> the only family I ever had was my mother. Plot twist. And she's dead. You break my heart. After all, it was I who gave you your name. My darling daughter. How did you get out there so easily? Well, rest in peace. That was a pretty short mission. Right. Save again. Nice catch. <laughs> well, this is my kind of rain. <laughs> no wonder the sky looks so funny today. Let me go. Let you go? <laughs> but it would be a waste if you ended up with just a pretty stain. <laughs> well, I was uncalled for. Why would you do that? <laughs> show your thanks by shooting me? <laughs> Whatever. Do as you please. So he's a demon too. I'm beginning to think I've got rotten luck with women. Well to be fair, I don't think most of them will shoot in shoot you in the fucking head. Twice. Whatever. Mission 7. A chance meeting. Duel of the demon children. I wish you could see my face right now. I have the Pogchamp face. Right. Uh, equip. Let's... get. Yeah, I... Hmm. Artemis is interesting. I don't have Devil Trigger right now. So, uh, yeah. Don't know if you're aware. Which is probably why it's so tough at the beginning of the game. Because I can't regen my health back when I take damage. So, uh, that's why it's so punishing. We can equip Artemis for the shotgun. We'll give it a try. So what I'm trying to say is that I don't have Devil Trigger, so it can't consume Devil Trigger when I use that weapon, and that's even if it does, because I haven't used it that much to know if it does consume Devil Trigger. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I think I'll buy Whirlwind. There we go. Let's move on. Let's try this out. Oh, okay, so it's literally just high rise. Alright, let's try Artemis. Can I charge it up? I can. It's pretty cool. It's like a Mega Buster. And I think it bounces off walls, right? Does it? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, it doesn't seem to be. Never mind. Whee! Jump off. Okay, that's not a good idea. Secret mission here, and I forget which one this is. 
Huh. Fuck me. Stay in the air for 20 seconds or more. I don't... I know what I think I have to do here, but I don't know if I have anything that would keep me in the air that long. Let me think for a second. Hmm... I know what I could use, but I don't have that weapon yet. Or the ability for it, so I can't even attempt it. This is really difficult, this one. Your best bet is to try... You can do it without the weapon, but it's very, very difficult. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. So the, the objective is to, kind of, is to jump on the heads of enemies. And to keep hopping off them. To stay in the air, but... It's very hard to do consistently. I think the thing is to like stay in the corner. Try and manipulate them. But the, the enemies jump up to you as well. Like that. No, I almost had it. Fucking hell. Pretty cool, though. Did I, like, try and time it? See how tough it is to do, though? We'll try it. We'll try it for a little bit. But I'm not gonna stay at this for too long. I don't want to do that, Christ. Come on, man. Stop with this bullshit. It's really difficult. It's really hard, because the enemies jump after you as well. Do you want to know the worst part about this? Uh, after I leave this mission, uh, I retain the health I had during the mission, which means any damage I take here, I will keep. Which is fucking stupid bullshit. Okay, I'm done. I can't do this, at least not right now. Okay, apparently that... I want to lead the mission, I don't know if you want to do that. Okay, it keeps respawning the enemies. How do I leave? How do I leave? I should be able to quit the mission, do I just have to hit quit the mission? I think that's going to go back to the main menu though. Yeah, see, it just goes back to the main menu. Don't know what I could have done there. That might be for the best, because uh, I lose all my health at that point, so uh, why the fuck would I do that? Yeah, that's stupid. Uh, we gotta buy Wilfint again. Yeah, fuck that mission, dude. Absolute bollocks. Uh, I need to equip Artemis again. So th that's why I'm not going to be doing many missions, by the way. Many secret missions, because uh, a lot of them are bullshit. A lot of them are awfully difficult. I didn't want to drop all the way. Bouncy pads. The Divine Library. That's cool. 
We got a puzzle! Am I disposing of these enemies? Oh yeah, I fucking hate these guys. Ori Halken Fragment. Is that supposed to say Ori Halken? Or oh, Ori Kalken. I don't even know how the fuck you pronounce that word, so... I'll just call it how it's spelled. Ori Halken. Which grants amazing power. They say it was used as an energy source. And that's all I have to find. So when, it glow when their swords glow red, obviously... They're about to attack. So I think Artemis probably does a lot of damage. But, uh, I don't know. Come on. Right, you here? I wonder if there's any extra shit in here. I don't know if there is or not. Oh, the camera, the camera controls are inverted, like left and right as well. Which is fucking irritating, to say the least. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. No whitey then. Yeah, I don't know if Artemis is that great right now. I can't really see enemy health bars, so I don't know how much it's doing. I can just jump off uh, bounce pad to bounce pad as well, which is pretty cool. But I need to keep going up. Holy water! Ugh. Puh. Puh. That's me spitting at it. This holy water can fend off demons. It severely damages nearby enemies. I, I, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's dishonorable. Pitch black void. Okay. That's very ad inviting. I'm pretty sure this is where... Arkham and uh, the chick were. There's more of this shit. Wonderful. That's a blue orb fragment. No, I couldn't get it. Come on. You know, I just love when I hit the jump button and I do not get a response from the game. Isn't that just wonderful? Stop fucking over jumping it, man. Stop! Don't under. You were doing it perfectly before. Why won't you do it now? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? You can't see my face right now, but oh my god, I'm fucking furious. Make the jump. Mm. I'm gonna fucking keep trying this till I get it. It's not that difficult. Look at look, he was stood on the ledge and then he slipped off. How the fuck do you trip? 
Probably just gonna cut away, to be honest, because this is taking forever. I'll be back. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Right. So, of course, literally like five seconds after I cut away, I'm right here. There we go. I'm not even, I don't even care about getting that red orb I missed. Not worth it. <laughs> not worth it at all. More of these shits. But I mean, I, I will say, that, fuck me, Christ alive, how far did he hit? Uh, I have to say, the enemy design in this game is fucking dark. Right. Hello. A stone pillar embroidered with skulls. A similar pillar lies to the right. Something appears to be missing from it. Yeah, I wonder what it is. There's an item here which is glowing ominously. Another vital star, good. I, uh, I'd hope to not have to buy them if I don't need them. So we'll basically save that uh, for, as a la absolute last resort. Can I destroy some of these? Yes, I can actually. No, I didn't want to activate anything. Hello. Why do you have your coffin, sir? Why aren't you inside it? Go to bed. Oh, that was sick. Oh, I see. That's what the charge does. It tra it locks onto multiple targets. I see. So I have to... There is... Okay, what the hell. The reason enemies just keep respawn is because these fuckers are still alive. There we go. Drop something. So yeah, destroying objects in a like during a fight's really good because of you know the fact that it might drop some health. But I will always forget about that. Siren's shriek, the sorrowful shriek of the siren, calms even the most ferocious of flames. Interesting wording. 
the lift room. Hey, hello. I believe this uses rebellion, right? Yeah. Seems I need a triple S combo. There we go. You see how much I had to put into that? Well, it's even worse if I, uh... Want to do... That's not even the weapon that I need to get a triple S with, by the way. Like, on one of the later ones. It, it's so bad that if I'm going to do it, I'm probably going to have to cut away from it. Because it'll take me forever. And I'm not going to show that shit. And we have another blue orb. Nice you. An elevator control panel. There's not enough power to operate it. Well, we just got a gem that can has a lot of power in it. The Orihalken. And it glows a beautiful yet haunting red. What's this? Another angelic statue stands motionless before you. I don't know what meaning it could hold. Oh, the lift's activated now. Cool. And we're back in the main hall. That's cool, isn't it? Nice of it to loop us back. Uh, I think I'm actually... Hold on. Equip. I'm actually gonna give myself Cerberus again. I have I like using Cerberus more than Agni and Rudra, to be honest. Sorry. Actually, hold on. No, I'll go back to Agni and Rudra. Because I... I'm not gonna stay with it, but I want to see if I've got a new move with it. Yeah. So, this is my Swordmaster level 2 ability that I never showed off. If I hold right bumper, hold forward from Dante's position, and press B, it does that. It's pretty cool. But I'm not going to use that, though. I'm going to go back to Cerberus. I like Cerberus a lot. I just like nunchucks. And then, f and then frost nunchucks as well. Pretty cool. Uh, and I think I'm gonna equip the shotgun again for Artemis. It's. I don't know why. Uh. Huh? I didn't do that. I'm gonna save up. I have no need to purchase anything right now. So, remember how the Sirens Shriek said that it'll calm even the most ferocious of flames? Well, that's what it is for here. Crimson flames twist and dance around the door, keeping all would-be trespassers at bay. And let's just pour... something onto it? Is the Siren Shriek supposed to be like a potion or something? I don't know. Well... Gold Orb, a magic golden stone made by a secret process. It can recall lost souls. So that's our first gold orb. It took you just to give us that. Come on. I absolutely abhor these enemies. Oh crap. A big boy.
So again, the reason why switching weapons is so good is because, uh, again, like just varying your combos. Like, doing every combo with Rebellion will obviously keep your variation up a bit, but if you do every combo with Rebellion and then swap to Cerberus and start doing hits, obviously every single combo with uh, Cerberus is going to be counted as variations too, so it's basically just massively increasing it. Now this is pretty trippy. I don't know why this room's in the game, but it's pretty trippy. We're in a rather small room by the looks of it, but if we hit this, apparently it's a much larger room. That's really weird, I don't know why this is here. This can be kind of annoying. So I have to destroy that within an allotted time and then it gets pulled back up again, which I don't want to happen. Crystal Skull, an eerie sculpture made of magic crystal. It seems to be a piece of a larger creation. I'm glad that we got a piece of the worst Indiana Jones movie. Hello. Oh, I dodged that one quickly, fuck me. So, I want to destroy this little shit as quick as possible. Come on, get crystal. Of course he has to spawn the little shit ones. I just hear these fucking enemies, Christ, they're the worst. They're just so annoying. Fucking dodging everywhere. At least you know when they're gonna do something, though, so uh, that's cool, I guess. And at least I'm getting health back for a change. Christ, you see how much dam- You see how much damage they stack up. Worst enemies in the fucking game! I have to basically- I'm actually going to die, this is hilarious. on a bike and I got no health for that oh my god fuck my tits okay I got the crystal skull didn't I which means I can go all the way back to the top Not that way, back through the door. Oh, do I have to? Mm -hmm. Some health would be wonderful, you know? Hey, it's this bitch. That hit me. 
What the fuck? Dunked on. And there's still no health drops at all. I don't know if you've seen my health game, but you should probably detect that I'm really low right now. Yep, let's slap in in there. We've seen this area before. Okay. So, at the, at the bottom right there, it uh, tells me how many items of these I've got. And I can only purchase so many of these. There's only so many you can buy from the shop. The rest you have to find in the game or through secret missions. Which is just wonderful. Okay. Again, I think I'm still going to save up, to be honest. I do need air hike. That's going to be very useful. Uh... No, I think the weapons I've got equipped is good. But I've barely got any health. Hello there, Virgil. Staring menacingly. Well, that's what the mission title was about. Let's go have a face off with our darling brother. Oh boy. Don't know if you could hurt it, but there's a fucking dog outside and it's pissing me off. Shut the fuck up. Oof. I'm probably gonna die here if I'm being honest. Holy shit. There you go. No, I don't want to use it. I was low health, so I expected that to happen. Oh, fuck me. Why do, why do I have to go through some shitty enemy encounters to get me to low health so I have to restart this? This is the problem when enemies don't give you health back when you're low. So he just blocks my bullets. Let's 
So I... Virgil doesn't fuck around. I only have... Alright, he was too far away from that. Okay. Sure, dude. I jumped. Wow. Following up with Volva seems to be pretty good. I'm getting fucked up, honestly. I forget how fast Virgil is. There we go. The Virgil battles are fucking awesome in this game. You're so you're so edgy, Dan. Sir, good like job. You. That's all. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Foolishness. I won't lie, it's pretty cool how during the fight you say it does flop down because of the rain. It's a nice little detail. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Kicking him while he's down. So nonsense. For the moment we have all that we need. Oh no, he's glowing. That means he must be stronger. And that's our devil trigger. 
So Virgil stabbing Dante with Rebellion unlocked the demonic power and also changed the appearance of the sword as well. But I'll be honest, the Devil Trigger looks pretty shit in this game. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like the design of it at all. And there we go, that's the mission. It's uh, our first duel with Virgil. I have to say, I haven't fought him for a while, man. I forget how fast he is. I got punished so hard there. Oh, and he only gets tougher as well, so... But I don't think he's still too difficult, though. Overall. Definitely, uh... Definitely tougher bosses that I face than Virgil. But oh well. Moving on. Yeah, I just love how low quality the cutscenes are. I don't even know if they've been upscaled or not. Also, why did he rip his jacket there? Like, what reason was that for? Use your new demon powers, Dante. No, when you think it just can't get any more over the top, it does. Like, look at that shit, man. Bear boy. Oh, I think this is my be the best part here. Of course, the bullet somehow does that. I don't know how. Like, how fast is that going? Like, that's... That's the same speed as something entering the Earth's orbit. Sure. No, not the space whale. Nom. Well, Dante's dead. I hope you enjoyed watching this series, everyone. Uh, moving on to Devil May Cry 4 next. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. That was a pretty eventful episode, and uh, yeah. Now we're inside a Leviathan, a uh, giant... I mean, I call it a space whale. I, I don't know if it's from space or not. It's probably just a demon. But I like to call it space whale, so fuck it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.